Hey guys, it's July 10, 2018. I just got back into Houston and uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to say that I've been feeling very refreshed. Um, I spent taking those few days with the father and just really hearing what's on his heart really helped me stay focused um, to what it is God is doing. Um, I did want to share a revelation that I got yesterday. Um, I was reading Revelation, and in Revelations, it talks about how during the last um, battle between Jesus and um, the Satan, um, where Jesus was, you know, riding a white horse, and he's with the saints of God going against you know the devil and his forces the very last battle I think it's called the battle of Armageddon or something like that I don't remember what it's called but it was very specific in the scriptures how they describe Jesus as the word of God the word of God and also the spirit of prophecy I believe it's Revelations 21 if I could recall I'm driving right now so I can't really look at it but when God showed me that it said that the word of God defeated the enemy and then I, it dawned on me, I'm like, if during the last battle, the word of God was the one who defeated the enemy, why do we have to wait until the last part of the last day, when I guess when we, when the very last battle, before we defeat the enemy? Why can't we defeat the enemy now with the word of God? If that is the weapon that the G, that that Jesus is our weapon against the enemy, which is the Word of God, because the Bible says, "In the beginning, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word became flesh, and the Word um, was God, or something like that." I forgot. In the beginning was the Word, and the beginning became it was, something like that. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word became flesh. So that was talking about Jesus Christ, and He came down to earth. So, bottom line is, I'm, I apologize, guys. My brain is wired right now but if in the beginning Jesus was the word and the word became flesh and at the end the word of God is what defeats the enemy why not use the word of God to defeat the tactics of the enemy and in fact if you look at the scriptures when Jesus was being tempted by Satan he defeated the enemy with scriptures he said it is written, it is written, it is written. So anyway, I'm sharing all of this. That was a long-winded introduction to the past couple of days. I've been just decreeing the word of God over my life. I've been um, praying more than ever in a sense where I'm just praying his word over my life and just believing God and his promises and using the word of God against the enemy. And... I feel like I've, because utilizing the word of God helps um, basically activate your faith. And also it gives angels, um, the angels only listen to the, hearkens to the word of God and to the voice of God. And so when the angels hear us speaking the word of God, they're activated. And so they can fight for his people. And so that's what I'm doing differently. You know, I really believe that if I activate my faith by using a, decreeing the word of God over my life, the things are going to start shifting in an amazing way. Anyway, I just wanted to share this and document this. I have um, um, great expectations for the days to come because I really believe that God is going to wow me. All right. I love you all. Talk to you all soon. Bye.